hi everyone uh, welcome back to our color dot tutorials uh, today we'll be uh, knowing or we'll be talking about deferred or deferable keyword in SQL in order to understand what exactly that deferable is we need to understand uh, uh, a position where in which we are unable to insert data in two tables which are uh, relatively or which are connected relatively say for example we have got a scenario where in which um, we need to uh, have chicken and egg stable we know that chicken is dependent on egg and egg is dependent on back on chicken so if I need to create two tables having referential integrity uh, in such a way that chicken references egg ID and egg references chicken ID so I can be directly able to create the tables because whenever I try to execute one of these commands or one of this uh, create command I'll be ending up with table not found because obviously the mm, uh, egg table in this case is not available let us have a execute this one oops I need to log in Yep. Sorry for that. Um, now let's start uh, to create this table. Let us try. So if you observe, if you can observe, table or view doesn't exist because as we are referring to the table which is not yet in the database, the egg table. If you can observe here, EID is a primary key of egg table, which actually references egg table EID, perhaps. Uh, since egg is not available at this point of time we would not be able to create a table chicken similarly the case would be the same when you try to create the table egg so table or view doesn't exist so in order to uh, rectify in order to overcome this particular situation maybe many of you might have been knowing this we will be creating tables without a reference reference a referential integrity first or reference keys first or foreign keys first then we'll alter the tables adding the foreign keys so let's try in this way now so let I'm just uh, trying to create a table without any foreign key table created similarly the egg table chicken has been created now trying for egg egg has also been created now let's check if we can make now since the tables are available I can alter the table chicken and add a constraint which references foreign key of the table egg so um, it's uh, I mean it's quite simple now I mean, we can uh, alter the table and add referential integrity yes table has been altered successfully similarly uh, since the chicken table is also existing right at this point of time so we can refer that and we can have a foreign key in the egg table referencing chicken id so i'll run this one i got this one so now we have got two tables egg and chicken with uh, chicken has having chicken id as a primary key and egg id referencing the egg table egg id similarly we have got egg table wherein which egg id is a primary key and chicken id references to the chicken table yeah now let's try to insert values into any one of the tables so basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to insert a value into any one of the above tables now since a uh, chicken when you try to insert any value into the chicken table we are saying that uh, egg id should be existing in the egg table but if I want to insert anything to the egg table so chicken ID, chicken ID should, should, should be existing in the chicken table but so in this uh, situation we will come into a situation wherein which we can't insert any data into any one of the tables let's try insert into I am trying to insert into chicken table values of 1 comma 2 it will say integrity constraint failed or violated parent key not found as simple as this because we know that uh, since uh, mm, uh, chicken ID is 1 and egg ID is 2 egg ID 2 should be present in the egg table in order to you know uh, 
uh, in order to abide the referential integrity similarly similar the case with the egg id or egg table where in which if you try to insert anything into the egg table it will throw er er error saying that integrity constraint violated parent key not found which is very true so what should i do in order to rectify this problem or in order to overcome overcome this particular problem so prior to 8i i think uh, prior to 8i uh, people used to disable the integrity constraints and then used to insert the values after after uh, inserting the values then enable the referential integrity again so that solves uh, this problem but enabling and disabling referential integrity or any keys would involve cost would involve manual effort as well or maybe in in some cases it can be automated but still it affects the cost it has to rebuild it if it has to, since we have been, we have we have got primary keys so it has to rebuild the unique index so that is what uh, is a issue of disabling and enabling the uh, foreign keys and inserting data into tables so what's the best next step in which uh, we can overcome this problem is uh, when we have a database of uh, size huge sizes like olap systems where in which we expect huge amount of transactions to be performed on the table so we I uh, can't even think of disabling the constraints and enabling them because we have got less time and that that surely affects the cost and performance of the system so now uh in this particular tutorial we'll be dealing with a keyword which actually is very useful in dealing with such such kind of scenarios so that keyword would be deferable <coughs> deferable so uh, what uh, what exactly this deferable means is like until deferable can be made into into in in two particular ways initially deferred or initially immediate initially immediate is nothing but as simple as your normal uh, enabling of foreign key constraint but when you specifically specify this uh, deferable as or as initially deferred which means that unless you commit the details unless you commit the data into the table it won't check for the integrity constraint or the check constraint or the referential constraint sorry uh, it won't check for that so what before going to commit once you execute the commit statement it will check for the uh, violations if there are any violations everything will be rolled back if there are no valid violations then it everything will be committed so that's the advantage of using this one so i'll change this one and I'll alter this one and this one so before that i have to drop this one sorry drop constraint Uh, so I've uh, dropped the constraint using this statement. Similarly, I have to drop the other constraint in the other table. Alter table egg drop constraint constraint name constraint name would be egg wrapper chicken. run this one yep table altered now again i would like to create the same constraint using 
initially deferred deferable or you can write it other ways as well deferable initially deferred both the ways are right let me try yes table altered I'm doing the same for the egg table as well the constraint with initially deferred and deferable run now let us try this one so previously when I haven't used this deferable it has thrown me an error saying that you know the parent sh parent key should be available now, let's try this one run Oops, I guess uh, since it's uh, Apex or Oracle App Application Express, it's not allowing me to do this one. But yeah, this is how you can do, uh, you can overcome the above scenario wherein which you will be, uh, you, even when inserting any row into a table, it checks for parent key. If you want to initially defer that one, and only on commit if you want to check for that particular uh, violation of integrity constraint then you can use this particular initially deferred deferable statement and you can also change this particular thing alter session set constraint is equals to deferable or immediate based on whatever you want so uh, in, in essence it means like um, you can change uh, the type of deferable it can be in immediate or deferred at on runtime so uh, you can change or you can alter your session to set the constraint as immediate so it makes all those constraints which have been defined as deferable to immediate so in, initially they will be moved to immediate and if you alter the session and set constraint is uh, deferable or deferred so it means like all the constraints which have been defined as deferable will be set as initially deferred thank you hope hope uh, this is uh, uh, this makes some sense and useful for you Please visit my site arclider.com. Thanks, thanks, thanks again. Bye bye.